Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Almighty God for giving us again uh, the privilege to see the first Sunday in the new month, uh, particularly the first Sunday in the month of December 2021. To him alone be all the praise in Jesus' name. And uh, today we want to um, focus on a very important topic, uh, which many of us will can actually relate with. And the topic of today's discussion is Bible study meeting, a major missing link in Christian growth. Bible study meeting, a major missing link in Christian growth. Shall we pray? Father, we want to appreciate you for the grace you have given unto us and uh, to be among the living today. Thank you for giving us that privilege to, the, to see the first Sunday in the month of December 2021. Glory and honor be to you, your name in Jesus' name. Thank you for all that we have done so far for, for us from the beginning of this year. Thank you for giving us that privilege to come at your feet to learn again this evening. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. We pray that, Lord, as we discuss, you will minister to us. And at the end, let all glory be unto your name. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And so, I've, as I mentioned to us earlier, our topic today is Bible study meeting, a major missing link in Christian growth. And our text, I think, from the book of Matthew chapter 5, from verse 13 to 14, and 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Matthew chapter 5, from verse 13 to 14, and 1 Peter chapter 1, 1 Peter chapter 2, rather, verse 2. And I would like to start with the fact that, you know, in the Old Testament, um, or let me say in the New Testament, when Jesus Christ um, came, was around, you know, many of us, we read from the scriptures what the Lord Jesus did in his time. In fact, when Jesus even ascended to heaven, we heard about all that the apostles did, uh, which were recorded from in the book of Acts of Apostles, and of course in the later part of the New Testament. And we saw all that God, all God, all God did in their lives, in their lifetime. And but then, at the same time, we could also see that at first Jesus Christ had 12 disciples and he and God was able to work wonders you know, through these disciples on earth. Uh, but then it is now um, becoming worrisome because currently in the world we have a lot of Christians in many parts of the world. But then if you look at the situations of things in the world, it's as if many of us as Christians we are not doing well enough. And this majorly, um, I strongly want to believe, is not the design of God. All that God is interested in is that you and I as Christians become the salt and the light of the world. God wants us to be the salt. He wants us to be the light of this world. And so that means that if we are not being coming the salt, if we are not acting as the light of the world, definitely something is wrong somewhere. And that is why today, we are focusing our attention on the importance of Bible study meeting. Brothers and sisters, I want us to understand that as Christians, we need to desire the word of God. We need to long for God. We need to thirst after him. We need to be filled with the knowledge of God's word. If we are not filled with the knowledge of God's word, I tell you, it will be difficult for us to impart our word. Prayer is important. But then, if we don't have a good understanding of the mind of God towards us, if we don't know the promise of God guarding the prayer we are praying, we might just be praying amiss. I pray God will give us understanding as we continue in Jesus' name. Um, I would also like us to understand that currently, in many parts of the world now, it is getting difficult to differentiate between believers and non-believers by the way we dress, by the way we speak, the way we handle matters, it is quite getting difficult to be able to say, oh, this is a child of God. Brothers and sisters, if we are children of the Most High God, if people cannot say we are children of God, if the words of our mouth cannot point us out as God's children, that means we are failing in the place of reaching out to the world. The Bible wake us to understand, it says, by their fruit you shall know them. Brothers and sisters, God expects us to be distinct in the way we do things. He expects us to be distinct in the way we act. How can we be distinct if we are not filled with the word of God? How can we be distinct in the way we handle matters if we don't know what God's word is saying? 
I pray that God will give us understanding this evening in the name of Jesus. It is also sad that many people that claim to be born, that claim to be Christians today, they are not actually born again. Many of them are just church goers. They go to church and yet they have not had an encounter with the Lord. Many even confess that they have even been born again. But then if you look at their way of life, you will see that it's totally against what is written in the scriptures. I pray that the, great, the Almighty God will deliver this generation of Christians in Jesus' name. I also want us to understand that as children of the Most High God, there is nothing that we are passing through that is not recorded in the scriptures. If we don't have a good understanding of the scriptures, it will be very difficult for us to apply all that God has given us in his word to guide our lives per time. Brothers and sisters, it is good that we we'll be a good student of the word of God for us to be able to live according to the word of God. It is good for us to attend Bible study meetings, for us to be able to know more about God's word and then to be able to live our life the way God wants us to live. And I pray God will help, to help us all in Jesus' name. If we fail to be rich in the word of God, if we fail to make the word of God our lifestyle, we will eventually bow to worldly pressures. We will eventually bow to what people are doing around us. We will eventually bow to economic situations. I pray that God will give us the grace to stand in Jesus' name. If we take a look at Christians on Sunday, you see us in our attires, you see us in our dresses, you see us in, in all the various ways we are dressed up. But then our true character is seen on Monday to Saturday. Our true character is seen at workplaces, is seen at marketplaces, is seen in our schools, is seen in our offices. That is why, brothers and sisters, it is good for us to work on our character. And how can we work on our character if we don't know what God is saying? How can we know how to handle matters if we don't know what God is saying? That is why you and I want to encourage ourselves to be closer to the word of God. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I also want us to understand that being a regular attendee of the Bible study has a lot of benefits. When we attend Bible studies, there are a lot of things that we can gain. Number one is the fact that although we thank God for the establishment of Sunday school, but then that Bible study gives us a better time and to be able to hear God's word, to be able to discuss God's word, and then to be able to have answers to some of our questions. It also helps us to be able to grow in character that we can be able to retain the no convert God has to the church. I want us to understand that there are many people that God himself has brought to the church, but by our attitude, in one way or the other, they have stopped coming. I pray that God will have mercy upon us and forgive us for this negligence in Jesus' name. So Bible study meeting provide a platform where you and I can actually come and be blessed, where we can study and then we can grow. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. It's also help us to be able to understand our spiritual assignment and then the Great Commission. If we don't read the word of God, if we don't come to church, there is no way we'll be able to add to our knowledge. There is no way we'll be able to have a clearer picture of the assignment that God has given us. Another importance or benefit of the Bible study meeting is the fact that it helps us to be able to know the next level in our Christian work with the Lord. It helps us to be able to understand the level that we are in and then the next thing God is expecting from us. That is why you and I must ensure that we are partakers of Bible study meetings. Another other important another important thing that you know that is also beneficial when we attend Bible study meeting is that it helps us all to grow in love. It promotes unity, it promotes love among brethren. It puts an end to any form of carcass, it puts an end to any form of factions among brethren. That is why you and I, as much as possible, should ensure that we are always part of those that attend Bible study meetings so that we can help promote unity in our church. And I pray God will give us understanding and help us to do this in Jesus' name. Other important things we need to note about Bible study meetings is the fact that by the grace of God, we should be made as important in Sunday service. Many people have grown to take Bible study the way it is just because it is regarded as secondary. 
Bible study, as far as heaven is concerned, is one of the primary reasons of the church. And that is why we encourage our second ambassadors that Bible study meetings, meetings should be made as important as Sunday meetings. At the same time, we should also try as a church or as leaders in church to, work, to organize special programs on Bible study as we do for prayer meetings, as we organize prayers, we organize programs so people can pray. It will also be very good for us to organize programs so that people can really have a better understanding of the scriptures. There are a lot of things bothering the heart of people. A lot of people have questions to ask. It is important for us as leaders, church leaders, workers, and um, group leaders, for us to be able to create avenues so that people can have answers to their questions. There are so many burning questions in the heart of people. It's important for us to be able to help them by organizing special programs, Bible study programs. It could be yearly, it could be monthly, as God of heaven will direct and help us so that people can have a better understanding of the word of God. And I pray that as we do this, the Lord will bless and help us in Jesus' name. At the same time, it is also important that as for us to remember that as heaven is concerned, Everyone is, everyone is more concerned about the heaven-bound Christians in our assembly. It is good that we are after the numerical growth of the church, but then it's also important that we are also after many people, after the number of people that will be rapturable in our churches. God wants us to grow soldiers for him. God wants us to raise generals for him. And one of the ways by which we can achieve this is by ensuring that our Bible study programs become attractive. Our Bible study programs, you know, uh, receive, you know, good attendance and so that people can get to know more of God's word and they can get to live a holy life. They can also have answers to their questions that will help them to live an honorable life unto God. I pray God will keep us understanding and help us in Jesus' name. And lastly, if you look at the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 12, he says that it makes us understand that the love of many shall wash God in the last days. Brothers and sisters, I like us to understand that the love of many is washing God at this time. Bible study meetings, Bible study programs provide a platform via which we can help us, everybody, to grow. Please, from today, let's invite people. Let's also ensure that we are also part of it so that together we can learn from the world, from one another. We can get to know God's words better and we can also be a blessing to others. I pray God will help us all in Jesus' name. It will also help us to be able to also be fed by the undiluted word of God. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. And finally, if you are here hearing us at this time and you have never at any time given your life to Christ, or perhaps you have given your life to Christ and you have backslidden, we want to encourage you to still come back to the love of God today because there is still room for you. I like you also remember that Jesus can come at any time and when he comes, he's coming to take his sins. I pray that he will find you and I worthy to go with him in Jesus' name. And so if you are hearing us at this time and you want to give your life to Jesus, can you just please repeat after me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Please forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. On the last day, help me to be rapturable with you. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are glad that you are able to make that prayer with us. And we are also glad to let you know that by praying that prayer, by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your name has been written in the book of life. I want you to walk in this faith and then join a Bible believing church around you. And then please fellowship with them. Read the word of God. Pray often and God of heaven, God of heaven will help you in Jesus' name. If you need um, maybe Bible or any other way that you can you can be of help to you, you can please contact us on the phone numbers on the screen. And God of heaven will help us all in Jesus' name. Finally, as we close this, this evening, we would like to pray this prayer. And the prayer is that our dear Heavenly Father, please give us a fresh hunger and thanks for your word and righteousness in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that Lord this evening give us fresh hunger, give us fresh thirst 
for your word and for righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, to, to desire you more. Help us to desire to live holy life more in the name of Jesus. Even as this year is going to an end, we pray, O oh God, let us finish on a good note. Let us finish, Lord, on the note that you are better prepared, Father, for your coming in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. Increase your word in us and help us to love your word and to love you, to pass after you and after righteousness. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So we appreciate you for joining us and this evening in learning together at, 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 at God's feet concerning our need to make Bible study meetings important. We want to encourage us all to ensure that we attend Bible study, encourage others to also attend so that we all can continue to grow as second coming of Christ ambassadors. And thank you once again for joining us this evening and wish us all a very wonderful week and a blessed month. God bless you.